Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Takasi here, aka Jetterbro95, coming at you guys with another video, and in this video guys, it is going to be an update to the Philadelphia Eagles theme team, uh, as I promised you guys on Monday when it came to the theme teams, we're getting back on schedule this week, uh, I did delay the Seahawks one because of the Blitz promo, but, uh, so this is my guy Toxic Chetty's, uh, lineup, this, I, you know, you see on the thing here where it says, uh, like my name, uh, this is just basically like my version of the Eagles theme team, how I would have the lineup. Uh, quite honestly, it's not really anything to do with, like, say, um, you know, how he chooses to play. This is how I would run the, run the team if I was, uh, playing with this team. So, uh, but with that being said, though, guys, if you guys could do me a quick favor and drop a quick like on the video, as well as subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Uh, there's about 85% of you guys that watch these videos that are not subscribed. If you guys could just take one second to hit that button, that would mean so much to me. Uh, as it does make a massive difference for the algorithm. But anyhow, let's get into the video itself. So starting off with the Eagles quarterback, we got a he got the brand new Michael Vick. I'm pretty sure he got this on launch day when it was like 1 million coins. Uh, right now, Mike has fallen heavily, but uh, as you can see, 96 speed, 98 throw power, 92, 89, 94 for the accuracies. Uh, Michael Vick, I've heard some mixed opinions on, I've heard people say he's trash, I've heard some people say he's good, truth be told, I have no idea, to be completely honest, I am just sitting here, just gonna be using the team, uh, I did play a couple of games though, with the Eagles team team on stream today, and I will say this Vick is much better than the, um, one that he had with his legend card, this one is significantly better, uh, than that one, which isn't really saying much, because that card was just an utter dumpster fire of a fucking card to use, uh, but anyways, so here is his X factors, uh, whatever the ability buckets, uh, for his spe special ability bucket, he can get things like pass lead elite for two AP fast break for zero AP and fearless for two AP. Now I am rocking pass lead elite, uh, just because it gets the increased throw power when leading bullet passes. However, I would probably use set feet lead if he got it, uh, for three AP, which I think he does. Uh, he gets pass lead elite for 7 AP, and I don't think he does get set feet lead. Why doesn't he get set feet lead on this built character? Really weird how he doesn't get set feet lead, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then his other ability bucket is Gunslinger for 1 AP, which honestly would be fine if he did not have, if he had one of the better, if, one of, if he had the same releases he did last time, but, uh, he does it now. Uh, so as you can see, some of the things are still the same. We He did go out and pick up the Art Monk 93 overall. He does not have it fully powered up yet. Uh, quite honestly, there probably isn't a reason to do so. But uh, this Art Monk, 95 speed, 95 jumping. Great receiver. Great receiver. Uh, he's a very good slot receiver too. Uh, he does get the, the fully powered up version of him. He does get slot apprentice for 1 AP. He also does get uh, wide receiver apprentice for 1 AP. So if that does interest you. Uh, obviously go pick up an Art Monk, but I think Art Monk is a good receiver. I think he's still one of the better receivers in the game. I wouldn't say he's top 10 or top 5, uh, necessarily, because obviously it's all subjective. Uh, but we still have Shady, we still have AJ Brown. Uh, I'll showcase him again in case you guys did not see him in the last video, uh, for the AJ Brown. Uh, again, 94 speed, 89 short, 94 mid, 94 deep route running. Um, yeah, AJ Brown is just a very good receiver. Uh, I have the 1 AP short in Elite on him. Uh, I think he uses Deep Out Elite because he plays a different game than I do. Uh, he plays on the last-gen version. I play on the uh, on the current-gen version. Uh, so it is what it is with that. But we also got Jason Kelsey. Uh, he finally got his upgraded, long-awaited upgrade for the Eagles theme team. Uh, you know, he was definitely one of those cars that was starting to get a little bit worrisome that he doesn't have an upgrade because there are some core elites now that don't have an upgrade still, which is wild to me. Uh, I hope they don't do the same thing as they did last year where they just completely forget to give some players an upgrade like Ryan Ramchek, for example. Uh, but Jason Kelsey, 95 strength, 90, uh, 89 speed, 83 acceleration. That blew me away about this Jason Kelsey. The man has 87 speed stock. Uh, without cam boost that blows my mind. I have him now on my Seahawks theme team because of that uh, But this Jason Kelsey is incredibly good. I love him uh, for his abilities guys He does get one AP identifier one AP post up zero AP nasty streak Which is what he is rocking and then two AP secure protector. So really good lineman I think he's a very good pickup if you guys do need an offensive lineman uh, for the team. Uh, also, there is the new team of the week. Dallas. There is a team of the week. Dallas Goddard. I will showcase him in case you guys didn't see him in the last video. Now, 
Uh, again, I run a different AP setup than he does. Uh, when I'm playing with this team, I will have the one AP tight end apprentice and the two AP short in elite, uh, just because I have the spare AP to do so. But uh, if I really wanted to, I could probably cut the short in elite and maybe get like, I want to say a couple of other, another ability or so. Uh, it really just depends for me personally, but um, yeah. Uh, that is the offense, guys. Uh, really nothing too much different than the last time, other than the Jason Kelsey and Michael Fick, as I showcased. Uh, for the, uh, team, guys, for the abilities, uh, as you guys know, uh, we do, we have Gambit and Past Lead Elite on Michael Vick, Nasty Streak on Jason Kelsey, AJ Brown with Short and Elite and Yak him Up, Harold Carmichael with Deep Out, J uh, Shady with Backfield Master and Freight Train, uh, short in elite on Art Monk, Dallas Goddard with short in and tight end apprentice, and Kevin Zeitler with post up. He has Kevin Zeitler here, it's just a filler because the Eagles' right guard is very, very bad. Uh, moving on to the defense, guys. So, as you can see, he also does have 50 and 3 out of 50 Eagles. Uh, hopefully, he gets some uh, fillers in soon if for some, some of the players. Uh, but obviously, the new card that we're going to be showcasing, I want to showcase, is Big Play Slay, Darius Slay Jr. Uh, probably one of the better corners in the game uh it's unfortunate that they did not give him great abilities uh he does get deep out zone ko for two ap pick artist for one and short route ko for two but he also does get acrobat for two kind of wish he could get pick artist and deep out ko at the same time but it is what it is uh for this darius slay though the stats are incredible 95 speed 95 excel 96 jump 94 play rec 98 zone 96 press uh, yeah, this Darius Slay is just an incredibly good card. I think he's one of the best corners in the game right now. Is he the best corner in the game? No, I don't think he is. I think uh, I think Tariq Woolen and uh, Deion Sanders are personally still better, uh, just because uh, Deion just moves a little. Uh, Deion just plays better for at least for me. Deion plays better, and then Tariq Woolen obviously plays good, and he's a bit higher, taller with being six foot four. Uh, but he did get Weapon X, guys. He did get the Brian Dawkins uh, for the team. I actually moved him to strong safety today on stream uh, for the squad. So Brian Dawkins, really, really good with 94 speed, 98 zone, 92 play rack, 92 acceleration, 91 agility. Um, yeah, big hard-hitting safety, obviously, with that, especially with that 95 hit power. Um, you know, he's a good user card. I just play him at strong safety just because I'm not going to go through all the habit of, like, you know, trying to put him at free safety because quite honestly, that's just uh, put him at user with the free safety because that is just annoying. Uh, I just don't want to do that. So I would rather just have him at deep safety with the enforcer one AP. Uh, we also have uh, the uh, Jordan Davis uh, from the solo challenges for the blitz promo. Uh, you guys can pick this up as one of the two ones that you can get for him. Uh, for the blitz solo, I think it was this and Rashad Bateman was the other one. Uh, but Jordan Davis, he's a big dude in the middle of the defensive line. Uh, 91 block shed, 95 hip hop, uh, 95, 85 power move. My apologies, 90, 87 pursuit. Uh, I played with them earlier. I played a couple games. I really did not like this Jordan Davis. I thought he was pretty bad uh, overall. But he does get some good. He does get goal line stuff and under pressure for one or two AP respectively. So if you want to get that under pressure for two AP. I mean, that, that actually could be where Jordan Davis is best used as, as an under-pressure guy right up the middle. Uh, we do also have uh, Deion Sanders. Obviously, I showcased him a few times, so I'm not going to. Uh, I will showcase CJ Gardner-Johnson one last time, in case you guys did not see him from the last video. Uh, as you can see, with 93 speed, 95 play recognition, 96, uh, almost at 94, 96 zone coverage. Uh, obviously we're going to have deep out zone KO on him as he does play my deep, for me personally, he will play my deep safety more or less. Um, and you know, uh, he has that deep out KO for two AP and then tip drill for three. Uh, so I know we're missing Keek, uh, the Jordan Hicks redux. Hopefully we can get that for him very soon with, by the time the next Eagles theme team lineup update comes out. Uh, also I know he's missing a, uh, Jordan, the Jordan Poyer that he still has yet to get. I hope we can get that for him also as well very soon. Uh, Jordan Poyer would actually be a very good upgrade for this team. And then maybe we could get a couple of, uh, lineman fillers. We'll have to figure it out. Oh, uh, well, obviously he'll have to figure it out because this is his team. Uh, for, but for the, oh, Reggie White. I forgot to showcase this Reggie White card. Uh, he was all the other all Madden promo drop that came out today. Uh, yesterday, I should say. Uh, 91 speed, 95 block shed, 94 power, 91 finesse. I think this card is better as an interior rusher. I don't think he's a very good edge player. I tried him out on the edge, and he was just terrible. 
So I uh, I just don't think he's going to cut it on the edge. Maybe I'll move him to the interior next time I play with the Eagles team team. Uh, but for his abilities, guys, for his special buckets, he can get uh, goal line stuff for 1 AP, El Toro for free, so that's why we're using it, uh, and double or nothing for 1 AP, and then he gets edge threat for 2 AP, which I would have loved to have been able to stack El Toro and double or nothing, but unfortunately, it is not to be the case. EA just does not allow us to have fun with our... Um, with our abil with the ability buckets that we're given, we have to pick the we have to pick the ones that they're that they assigned, which is dumb. Um, but for the abilities, guys, uh, we got obviously again Reggie White with El uh, Toro for free, Darius Slay with deep out at zone KO, uh, deep out zone KO and pick artist on Deion Sanders, Fletcher Cox with inside stuff, CJ Gardner Johnson with tip drones a deep out KO, Brian Dawkins with reinforcement and enforcer, which is free on Dawkins. Uh, one AP pick artist on Azela Palomal and Rasul Douglas. Palomal is actually his uh, user. Uh, we also have Ted Hendricks in at user as well. And then uh, Kiko Alonso with just a free deflator active for for the kickoffs, uh, just to uh, you know in case you know it's like you know they're returning the ball and we can lay a good hit on them. Um, but yeah, there's still a decent amount of players that do need to be picked up. I am very much aware, but again, this is not my team. This actually belongs to my guy. Uh, Toxic Chetty, who makes my thumbnails, uh, so by the way, so a uh, link for him will be in the description. Go check him out. Uh, we also got Cameron Johnson and uh, Dicker the Kicker. I'm not going to call him anything else but that ever in my lifetime because that is just the greatest nickname ever. Uh, for the specialist guys, we have Reggie White uh, and uh, Reggie White and Javon Curse on the edges. Like I said, I'll probably put somebody else on the edge. And then Fletcher Cox and Jordan Davis at Rush DT. Uh, Isaiah Palomal and Ted Hendricks at sub linebacker. Rasul Douglas got moved to slot corner just because he doesn't get the deep out KO. Uh, AJ Brown, I put to slot receiver. I might make this uh, Art Monk, but I like AJ Brown at the slot today. He played pretty well. Uh, Kevin By Keith Byers and Shady at third, a uh, power and third down running back, respectively. Uh, for the offense and defense, guys, we're running my offense and defense. So we got the Packers offense, the Raiders defense. Uh, Strategy Adams, we're just rocking with the ones that he has. So the uh in the zone and the um letter rip for the um strat items we also have the eagles <clears throat> the team affinity stuff and then for the uniforms guys we do have the 80s uh eagles uniforms with the classic away and classic home uh i'm pretty sure he does have the home ones as well the current ones as well but that is going to do it for the team guys hope y'all did enjoy hit the like button below if you guys did and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video hope y'all have a great weekend i'm out peace